Hi, I'm Sandy Johnson, the original Judith Myers from Halloween, and you're watching Slasher Pepper. Enjoy. <laughs> hey guys, Slasher Pepper here. Welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be interviewing Sandy Johnson, Judy Myers in the original Halloween. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Thank you for inviting me on your show. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad to have you. So, um, do you have any new projects coming up? Um, well, I am doing an event next week in North Carolina at the Myers House, North Carolina, which is an exact replica of the house in Pasadena. So, I'm going to be watching uh, Halloween with a bunch of fans at an outdoor theater. So, that's going to be fun. I have some other cons lined up, one in the UK and uh, one in Indianapolis, so we'll see what happens with COVID, if those take place or not. And I also uh, have been cast in a film that will also shoot in the UK when that opens up again. Awesome. Can you say anything more about that film, or is that kind of just a secret as for now? Uh, no, not really. It's um, uh, Great Northern Productions is the company. The working name for the film is Jim Creeps, as in gymnasium <laughs> creeps, and uh, I play a physical therapist. Awesome, that's really cool. So it's kind of like a horror movie, I assume, from that title? Yes. Uh, that's great, great. Um, so you got that movie coming up, but after Halloween, you didn't do many other films. Uh, is there a reason for that? Um, the other films that I did was uh, Jokes My Folks Never Told Me, Hots, and Gas Pump Girls. And um, right after that, I ended up losing both of my parents pretty close together. And, and then I got married, and then I moved away. From Hollywood. Yes, from Hollywood. And I became a teacher and just focused on that for the last million years I guess. Right. <laughs> um and what was it like working with john carpenter back in the late 70s oh it was wonderful of course he was a new director but he was very good he was very serious but um he gave good explanations of what he wanted and was uh, just he was very easy to work with i enjoyed working with him very much Cool. Did you did you envision him like becoming a big director back then? I didn't. Um, it was just a low budget film, and so right. they don't become big films very often. So <laughs> I didn't. I really didn't expect it to become a big film. So that's quite a surprise. It was just kind of a thing you quickly just did, and then all of a sudden it's this big movie now. <laughs> Yeah, I just did it, and along with the other films, and moved on. Right. <laughs> uh, did you bond easily with the cast and crew, or were there heated moments? No, I don't. I actually have very few heated moments in my life. I don't recall <laughs> uh, any of those on the set. Um, pretty easy to get along with, easy going. So as long as everybody's behaving themselves, I'm usually fine. Right. <laughs> awesome. And um, did you see the original Halloween at a premiere with the cast and crew? I did. It, it wasn't a big fancy premiere, obviously, but it was a premiere and it was at a, at a theater and it was with the cast and crew. So, yeah, that was pretty cool. And because I um, was not on set when they were shooting the other scenes, I really had never seen Michael or, you know, the adult Michael or um, the other scenes at all. So when I saw it in the theater, it was really very scary. Right. <laughs> and um, did you see Jamie Lee Curtis for the first time at that premiere, too? No, she was actually on set when I when I did my uh, part. Why was she there? Was she there just to, I don't know, kind of... Um settle with uh, the cast and crew that would also film the later scenes? Um, I think that was probably one of the last scenes actually to be shot. 
I think she just uh, wanted to see that scene. She had seen all the others, so I think she just wanted to see that one too. And she was actually helping me some. I mean, that was her first movie, so she wasn't a big star yet. So she was just hanging out and, and helping me get ready and stuff also. That's nice. Yeah. Um, and are you still in touch with some of the cast and crew from the original? I am still in touch with um, uh, PJ Souls and Nancy Loomis and um, Nick Castle and James Jude Courtney. They, uh, they're they usually at a lot of the cons that I do and we all sit together to do the signatures. And of course we visit in the slow time. So yeah, I, I reconnected with them. And it's a lot of fun, they're all great. Yeah, for sure. They all seem like really nice people at the cons. Yeah, they are. They're super nice. Um, and what are some of your own favorite horror films? Well, let's see. I really like... Uh, I, I kind of like the ones that don't have just a whole lot of gore in them, but where there's a good story. So obviously Halloween is my favorite for that reason. But I also like The Shining... And um, The Exorcist is a bit scary, but it's still one of my favorites just because it's just terrifying and, right. and story. And I also like Psycho a lot. Another one that is more um, scary than it is gory for the most part. So those are some of our, and of course I love Scream. That's a great one. All right, more of a modern one. Um, so there's more of a gen you're, there are some more generic questions over here. Uh, what makes you smile? Oh, there's a lot of things that do that. Um, probably animals is the first thing. Right. <laughs> um, children and um, my husband, my friends, they make me smile. And of course, the fans, they always make me smile. Oh, thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. And um, Halloween, of course, is a very evil film. So uh, you would think if Michael Myers ever dies, he would go to hell. So what do you think hell looks like? Ooh, well, um, hell is probably a very unhappy place, very dark, and whatever terrifies you the most is probably what's there for you <laughs> right <laughs> so it's and, a personal um, yes yeah definitely definitely i think so too um if there even is a hell right and um i i assume judith myers went to heaven so what do you think heaven would look like heaven would be peaceful with probably beautiful landscapes and I would hope there would be animals there and um, nice weather not hot like Texas <laughs> <laughs> just like a little yeah. cold breeze right yeah <laughs> um, if there was anything you could change in your life what would it be It might have been to have been discovered earlier. I would have had more time with the fans. And um, uh, that's probably about it. Really, I've had a good life. I'm very happy with um, how it's turned out. Maybe my parents, if my parents had lived longer, like I said, they, they died very right. young. So that is. Yeah, that I'm very is, sorry to hear that. Yeah, thank you. I mean, you definitely, they miss everything when they're not here. So um, I lost them like high school and not long after high school. So they pretty much missed all the big things in my life. Well, I'm sure they're in heaven watching uh, you now. So, yeah, um, I hope so. Is, there any, is there anything you would like to add to the interview? Um, I just, I'm looking forward to making more movies. So I'm, I'm in acting online acting classes. Now I have an excellent coach. So I'm working on that, trying to, 
um, freshen up my skills. And right. also, um, I just want the fans to know how much they've added to my life, that I love them. And I love the fact that so many of them follow me on Facebook and Instagram and just um, send me awesome things all the time and say just the nicest things to me. So I'm very grateful for them. And I'm always happy to meet them at cons. It's just it's one of my favorite things now. Yeah, you can tell that you really, you really like your fans and you're really genuine about um, being in touch with them every time. Uh so yeah, be on the lookout for your new film. What was the name again? Jim Jim Creeps. The the working name is Jim Creeps. So awesome. what it what the actual um you know what it'll actually come out with the title, I'm not sure. But as soon as you know we are filming or whatever, I'll start posting on Facebook. It's just with COVID, who knows when that'll be. Right. <laughs> Well, be on the lookout for that film, whatever it will be called soon. And uh, I want to thank you a lot for your time. You're so welcome. Thanks for inviting me. I appreciate it. You're welcome. You're pissing me off, Roger. It's time.